Traffic contained a bizarre energy coming from Cantalot High. Growls, <laughs> <laughs> I know you didn't like me going over there, but I just couldn't wait. And soon, I'll have all the time I need. All of Crystal Prep is going to be there for the Friendship Games. I just hope all that rivalry nonsense doesn't get in the way of my research. If I can collect enough data on these EM frequencies, I should be able to extrapolate the waveforms to determine their origin. That would practically guarantee my entrance into the Everton Independent Study Program. Whoa! Warlord, lead ball to fall back on Hutcher and top us over. At that very moment, Dean Caden knocks at her door and opens it without permission. Twilight, you know the rules against pets. Well, Spike isn't a pet, Dean Cadence. He's the focus of my research project. Human canine cohabitation, effects and implications. Oh, if you say so, my principal sense is highly allergic, so I suggest you put on a clean shirt. Why? Because she wants to see you. Ooh, maybe she has news about my application to Everton. I've been meaning to ask you about that. Are you sure that's what you really want? Wait, well, wait, why wouldn't it be? A program that allows me to focus all my attention on my own advanced math and science projects? What a dream come true! But there aren't any classrooms of other students. You'll be doing everything on your own. Well, that's why it's called an independent study program. Ah, uh, I just don't want you to miss on anything. That's all. Being around other people isn't such a bad thing. Sometimes it's how you learn the most about yourself. I guess. Well, I'll meet you in Principal Cynthia's office in a few minutes. What's she so worried about? Everton is exactly what I need right now. <sighs> it's not like I have anything left to learn at Crystal Thread. I've been in and out of every door. Whoa. Whoa. Fate. Twilight sits before her desk. When the door closes, she turns around to see a familiar figure beside Dean Cadence. Shining armor! Why is my brother here? Yo? Oh, sorry. <laughs> As an alumni, Principal Cinch thought he could provide some unique perspective. Perspective on what? Why, the Friendship Games, of course. You competed in the games, did you not, Shining Armor? <laughs> I did. And do you recall what? happened at those games? <laughs> Crystal Prep won. We always win. We always win. Why did you ask to see me? Twilight, I'll be honest. 
It doesn't matter whether or not Crystal Brett wins or loses. The important thing is we are expected to win because Crystal Brett has a reputation. And it is that reputation, my reputation, that is responsible for everything we have here, for everything you've done here. And you've done quite a lot, haven't you? I, I, I don't know, I guess. Oh, don't be modest. You're the greatest student this school has ever seen. I mean, my God, if you were my student, I'd be dating you. <laughs> what I can't understand is why my greatest student wouldn't want to compete. In the friendship games? Look, Twiley, I know it's not really your thing, but representing the school is kind of a big deal. Plus, they could really use your help. It seems kind of on high. It's undergoing something of a renaissance. Test scores are up, grades, even athletics are on the rise. You see, they are developing somewhat of a reputation. This cannot happen. Principal Siege, I can't possibly participate in the games. My work here is very... I understand. You've applied to Everton Independent Study Program. You see, one of the advantages of having a reputation is a certain amount of influence in such things. So let me offer you a deal. In return for contributing your agile mind to these games, I will use my influence to guarantee your application is approved. Though I suppose I could also have it denied. What do you think I should do? With this in mind, Twilight bows to the pressure to complete in the friendship. Sorry. Sorry. Uh -oh. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. <laughs>